Yeah, I think you want to probably get some of the winter gear out if you, you haven't been exposed to the cold lately. We haven't had too many cool days around, but if we do get down to only highs in the 50s this week, it'll be a while since we've seen that. The last day I could find, I went back to look at the records in Wesleco where we had a high temperature stay in the 50s is way back last January 27th. We had a high 59. There were a couple of days right after New Year's where it stayed in the 50s as well. So Thursday might stay in the 50s, might squeak out in the 60s for a while in the morning, but I think Friday is a guarantee to not get out of the 50s. So get ready for what should be the coldest weather since last January coming back to the valley. Tonight, though, some fogs forming. Fogs creeping back in in the lower valley. Cameron County and southeastern Willsey County. The visibility here in miles being reduced about a quarter mile. It's rounded up to 0.3 there in a few spots and 0.75, about three quarters of a mile rounded up to 0.8 in Brownsville. So the fog trying to form. I think the lower half of the valley is the best chance to see some fog tonight through about sunrise tomorrow. So when you wake up, there may be some fog in spots. Temperatures in the 50s and near 60 degrees and fog, especially in Cameron and Willsey counties, otherwise clouds and probably staying mostly cloudy tomorrow. Could be a little warmer than the 72 we see here in Cameron County where the warm air might try to hang on in the lower valley. So the warmest temperatures in the lower valley, but overall most places in the 70s and maybe a sprinkle or two late tomorrow afternoon and evening. 70s across most of the valley tomorrow for highs as you see there. But again, the, if you're near the coast or in the lower valley, you may see the, the warmer weather kind of try to come back in and bump temperatures back up into the low 80s for a while. Now here's a European model next seven days. Cold front, a weak one is kind of draped over us later tonight and tomorrow and that front eventually weakens, but does drop temperatures some tomorrow. The next strong fr cold front comes blowing in on Thursday morning. Once that front drops through, temperatures will also be dropping. We'll probably go from maybe the low 60s if we're lucky in the morning to probably 50s most of the day and gusty winds, some light rain and drizzle. And then the cold temperatures, probably the coldest day will be Friday when it may have the trouble getting much above 50 degrees and there still might be a little drizzle around. Saturday, we still have some cool temperatures, but we may break out of the clouds a little bit late in the afternoon. And then by Sunday, the warm weather comes back. Warmer temperatures Sunday, Monday. The next front looks very weak and kind of gets mostly steered to our north. So overall, a lot of days early next week by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday should be back in the 70s and maybe lower 80s for highs. If you love snow, the cold air producing some heavy snow in the mountains in Colorado, eventually some heavy snow out west by later Wednesday and Thursday. But the really, really cold stuff staying to the north, but still some pretty chilly stuff headed our way for a couple of days. So your first 1570 forecast 70s tomorrow, 50s on Thursday. And if you are going to the coast, some strong winds are likely late Wednesday night, Thursday into early Friday morning. Gale watches are in effect and look for the clouds to hold tight most of Friday and you may see a sprinkle or two. Maybe some holes in the clouds late Saturday, but really Thursday, Friday and early Saturday look pretty chilly. Then the warm up begins again early next week. So stay warm. Get ready for those days ahead in your first one five forecast.